My name is Vahid Chitos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here. Go ahead and introduce yourself and let us know where you're tuning in from. Absolutely. My name is Connie Pontero. I'm uh, tuning in from Los Angeles, California, and I've been in the health and wellness world for 20 years. The, okay, I mean, that's a short period of time. I mean, 20 years. You I just warm it up. I know. I know. <laughs> so let's dive into it. I got some interesting questions I want to ask. Okay. A lot of people are scared right now. Yeah. As far as your, a lot of individuals, or based on my research, yeah. when mentally you're stressed, your immune system goes down also too. True. During this crisis that we got going on, a lot of people are thriving. A lot of people are scared and they're stuck. Right. What are a couple of tips that you could give us is specifically for business owners because employees, I feel like they're not doing good, but at least they're not, they shouldn't be under too much stress because they're getting unemployed. But a lot of entrepreneurs that rely on the economy, you know, moving forward, they're not doing anything and they, some of them can't even do anything. What right. are some of the remedies that we should kind of implement? Great, great question, Vahid. Thank you. Um, first one is to breathe. <laughs> I mean, it seems simple enough, and yet the problem is most people shut down. They focus on the fear. They focus on the lack of money. They focus on what they don't have. If you could take a quiet moment and do a shift and focus on your breath, because see, the present moment is really all we can control. If you can do focused breathing, inhale for two counts, hold your breath for two counts, exhale. If you can do that for eight or 10 breaths, you're gonna calm yourself down. You're gonna focus on number two, what's going right in your life? Are you healthy? Then let's work on that. Let's work on your immune system. Let's take care of, let's make sure you're moving every day, 30 minutes, drinking lots of water, eating healthy food. And then the third thing is surround yourself and really dive into content that is uplifting. What can you do for your business? Hey, listen, I have a studio that is empty, but I knew when this all happened, I, there was something I had to do to serve. What could I do? So I started making videos that people can get comes to their phone, 10 minute exercises, inspiration, meditation. And then I started t taking my classes, made them virtual. I, did mon I now do Monday night meditation virtual. It's what I can do because I know that I have, my gift is allowing people to fall in love with their bodies again and, and take their lives. Just focus on the good. What good do you have? Even if it's like, you know, today I'm not as stressed. I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's focus on what you do have, on, on your health, on your family. Even if you're alone, do you have an animal? Even if you have a roof over your head, What's good? What's working in your life? That is amazing. Yeah. Listen, I got a question for you. Maybe this is maybe this is off topic, but when I do the breathing exercises, I get high after ten breath. Like like I'm getting like really high. Like I'm like this is awesome. How do <laughs> how do you get high on over extra amount of oxygen? Because we honestly, when we're stressed, we clamp down. We we contract. So we we very shallow. All of a sudden, when you're really taking deep breaths and you're really in it, that's a lot of blood and oxygen. You a lot of oxygen into your blood, and it, it does make you have that feeling of, wow. And it makes so you why do people still it? smoke when you could get oxygen for free? <laughs> yeah, you tell me, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully my wife won't watch this live session. <laughs> you have a great attitude, V. I like that. I like. I love what you've been doing. No, I mean because listen to me is like, I also understand. I argue with my wife all the time on this topic. When I when I mean argue, we have a lot of discussion that's heated, yeah. but yeah. we still love each other, right. and we could let go of things after we're done with the conversation. A lot of people hold on to it. They hold yeah. grudges for like a week or two. We forget it. So right. I know, I know. For example, attorneys have one of the highest level of substance abuse, especially alcohol. To me, it's like, why can't we do that with oxygen? It doesn't cost anything. It's available right. to you all the time. Right. Why not meditate like that and get the same amount of high? Like, right. what is it? But I'm pretty sure there's other things that I don't understand in, in, in human body that, that alcohol might be remedying. So that's, that's what. Yeah. So here's my other question for you. Yeah. When it comes to self-development for entrepreneurs, I yeah. feel like, we should have extra time on our hands that we didn't have before. 
just right. because everything everything has slowed down a little bit, yeah. you have more time to reflect. In the past 20 years, what are some of the things that you have done to personally improve or go through your own personal self-development? Oh, great question. Number one, meditate. Meditate, meditate. So I wake up at 5, 5.30, even now, because I love the early morning. And for me, I sit with quiet. I don't pick up my phone first thing. That's the most important thing. I, I think a wonderful book is The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. Um, and it gets you up early, gets you moving. If you don't know that book, definitely write, write that down. But it gets you moving, gets you meditating, and gets you focused on what your, your day is. I mean, now more than ever, entrepreneurs should be diving deep. What do you do best? What's your, and let's go. There are so many people that are giving free content everywhere. Um, David Meltzer, an incredible guy to follow. Uh, um, I mean, he's all right. He's all right. <laughs> Bill Walsh. No, no, I like team. him. He's in San Diego. He's close by. Yeah. Bill Walsh, power team, amazing person to follow. Marsh Engel, amazing person. She's an amazing woman nation. There's so much content for people if you're struggling. But as an entrepreneur for myself, I'm always learning. I have mentors. I'm always diving deep. Hey, hey listen, I haven't done as much Pilates mat as when I started training 20 years ago. And I love it. My clients are strong. I mean, I'm getting people that have never worked out a day in their life. They're like, okay, I'll do it. You know, I have nothing else to do. And so it's great. So I think continually learning and, and listening. My kids teach me tons of stuff. Um, you know, I have a 27 and a 23-year-old. So just be open to the opportunities. Else. I don't know what you're talking about. You look like 32 yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank right. you. Thank you. And so ahead. here's my, but when did, where, at what point in your business did you decide that self-development was important? Because I feel like a lot of times I have fell, fell into that mistake where we get to a status, we get to a level and obviously, if you do something for five, 10 years, you're probably getting good at it. You're good at it. But you kind of feel like you're stagnating. You could get better. Obviously, you're, you're better than other people compared to you that have done it in five years or have had only five years experience. You've right. done 10. But how do you, at what point, like, where, how do you not let your ego get to you where you're like, you know what? I need to still go learn and be humble enough to learn from people that are younger than yourself. Oh my, you just have to, honestly, you, you ha just have to be available and say, there's, oh, if you get to a place where you say, I've, I've learned it all, you're dead. There is never a time when you, when, when that happens. I mean, listen, look at TikTok. I have no idea what that is. My daughter's like, come on, let's do it. To, okay. And, I mean, I, I don't watch as much as she does, but it's fascinating. I used to think Instagram was, you know, Facebook used to be, I love Instagram. I mean, don't you? Uh, love it. I mean, it's, it's all of a sudden, there's just so much out there. There's so much to learn. I fell in love with gardening. I've always been a gardener, but I didn't have as much time. I'm never gonna, um, I'm, I'm, I'm writing lessons from the garden right now. I mean, there is so much around us, so much that we have that we can learn from, learn from people younger. I mean, they have a lot of time. So pull them in, pull them into your businesses. What can they teach you? What do they need to, you know, Instagram, if you're struggling with that, you know, they are available. I, I really think that the um, opportunity to learn is unbelievable, especially now because we have the time and we have the, okay, what else can I do? Don't watch, get off that TV, you know, and I watch TV. I'm not saying that, but I mean, just there's so much reading learning get outside and the other thing is silence i think there's so much for us in the silence and i think that's what got people scared when everything was shut down everyone was like now what right <laughs> listen, don't you wake up listen you have no idea i was driving to my mother-in-law's house they're in woodland hills my mom is in woodland hills i'm oh, in woodland I hills am. That's what, I'm, yeah, in yeah. Hills. I'm right behind i mean i'm right behind taft high school and then my mom my my mother-in-law is in Mulholland. literally I, I, I caused a scene and I think I might have caused an accident because I was at the light and I literally looked up. There were mountains and hilltops yeah. that I've never seen in the past seven years that I've been yeah. driving over there. Right. And I was just like, where did this come from? And then there are people behind me and they started like honking and I'm like, 
I literally lost myself because I thought I was lost. Right. I didn't know where the hell I was. Yeah. I was like, this is a new neighborhood. Like, there was so much smog, so much of this, and so much of like, you know, fast moving things. I never see any of those stuff. And I think and the air has cleaned up a lot. That's it. It's the fast moving stuff. Don't you feel that you've slowed down and that you're just, I mean, you, you just see it on the streets. Don't you see people in your neighborhood I did, walking? Everyone's walking. I didn't even know they lived there. I they didn't have, even know they existed and they had kids. I'm all like, this I, is cool. I know, <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. So there's, you know, that shift has been amazing. And what we can see and, and, and the ability to see. And it's come because we've all slowed down. So here's my, 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 my question for you. There's two types of meditation based on my research and okay. little research. But correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. There's one type of meditation that you do where you empty everything right. so there's nothingness. Okay. That's one type I know a lot of people recommend. Okay. Then there's the other type of meditation that I like to do, but I don't know if it's correct. I just like it, but doesn't mean just because I like it is the correct way of doing it. Is that I empty my brain and my mind. I slow everything down, but it doesn't go empty. I typically have one idea, one thing that I'm thinking about, and I make that the focal point of all my thoughts. Mm -hmm. So for me, the emptiness doesn't do anything. The emptiness just makes me fall asleep. Just want me to just like relax this, this. So it doesn't do that much for me as far as like, yeah, it relaxes me, but it doesn't, you know, I come out of it and I don't, I'm like, okay, that was cool. That was a good 15, 20 minutes. But when I focus on that one thought that I have or one challenge, one issue, one good thought, whatever the case might be, that magnifies yeah. And I and I and I explore, dive into that. What's the difference between these two, and where am, am I doing it right? Am I doing based on your experience? First of all, there's no wrong way to meditate. Number two, there are a million different ways to meditate. Some people do mantra, uh, focus on one word. I mean, there's a million different ways. It's what works for you. So I love that you're doing it. It doesn't matter. Like I teach yoga nidra, which is sleep based. Uh, meditation. It's a guided med meditation. You do it lying down with a blanket on you, eye pillow if you want to, you're very cozy, and then there's talking. We're tro always trying to, all the point of meditation is to drop you out of the overthinking, I should be doing this, maybe I'll go to Trader Joe's, oh my God, there's going to be a lot, to get you out of that mode and drop you down into quiet, into delta, into theta. So that's it. There is no wrong. It's what works for you. Now, let me just say one more thing about mm -hmm. meditation. Here's the problem. If you could think about your brain like a puppy, okay? So you're training your puppy and the puppy goes off and you come say, puppy sit, sit, sit. And the puppy goes off and come, that's your brain. So your brain is like this, squirrel, 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 right? It's always thinking of, it's, that's its job. Its job is to protect you out of everything else. It's always looking for the negative. Is that danger, is that danger, is that danger? And so that's why the brain is overactive. So all you're doing is focusing on one thing, which is like a mantra. So if that works for you, fantastic. There is no right way. If people can go and experiment, and a lot of people hate meditation because they can't quite, their mind. you're never going to empty it. You're never going to empty your mind. There's always going to be something that comes up. All you're going to do is notice that and then try to come back. Uh, again, I have Monday night classes. Everyone is welcome on Zoom. Awesome, awesome. And, and so how do people find you? Um, Connie Puntero, um, absolutepilatesupstairs.com. Um, and the Facebook, Connie Brunner Puntero. DM me. Um, I have my information on there. And um, come work out, have fun. Text the word self-care to 26786. And you get free workouts and um, inspiration and small meditations that come to your phone. I love it. Listen, thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning. Hopefully, we'll get to do a lot more videos, especially Absolutely. that you're so I'll close by. See you in Woodland Hills. See you in Woodland Hills. Talk to you later. All Stay right, safe. Bye-bye. All right.